Aaron and Liam here with The Locators. Thanks for stopping by and checking out our channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. We're going to be doing a... European skull mount. A European skull mount. Something like this. We have a little bit more work to do with that one. We still got to do the boil, uh, finish fleshing it out and whiten it. But that's at a later date. Today we had a little bit of a drop off. My brother has shot this one yesterday and we're going to be fleshing it out. I have truly never done this before. But I figured it'd be a good opportunity for Liam to learn and myself to learn and learn as a father-son duo. We're just going to flesh this head out and bring you guys and girls to the process. So today's products we're going to be using is the SCHF 16 Charade and the... This is gonna be quite a lengthy process. This is doing the trick for all that finesse and stuff like that, but I got a whole bunch of meat I gotta get off the here. The charade worked pretty good for getting in behind that big thick hair and kind of bringing the season. This is quite an intricate process and it's a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of sweat and a lot of effort, but it's something I'm willing to take on. It's something we're learning together as a father-son duo and it's stuff that we enjoy. We enjoy the outdoors, we enjoy the hunt, we enjoy the, the processing and everything else that goes into that. And we like to sit around the table and have a nice deer steak and talk about the hunt and our, our time together outside and all the stuff that goes into it. But definitely a huge shout out goes out to those taxidermists that do this full time. It's, it's not an easy job. jaw is out now that was a little bit of a, a different scenario that was right up in there I was cutting and cutting and cutting and just nothing was releasing and the, I, I did a little bit of movement and it moved within the, uh, the top so I just got in there and cut that apart and it just fell right out but now we got the skull away from its jaw and that's what we're left with we got some fleshing to do in here. We're into the same yeah. kind of things as I am. Hunting, fishing, outdoors lifestyle, camping. And it's really a good way to raise your kid. I found that he's more educated. He's more in touch with, with what's going on around him. He's really got that aspect of life kind of down pat. I'm seeing him, he's, he's just turned 10 and he's just got that drive to, to make it, you know, wake up at 5 30 in the morning and get out there and be in the ground blind by six six seven o'clock ish you know it's something that i want him to live that outdoors lifestyle because it'll keep him out of trouble to raise a good kid like liam and have him be a part of this is is really something else for a dad and it it's fantastic We got the cap chef set up in the shed. Got the doors open behind me. Just checking this periodically, putting it in for about 20 minutes. A good rumbling boil and get most of that meat off of there or tenderize it and fillet away.
So this set of bull antlers and this European skull mount for the white-tailed deer that my brother had given to us has been quite the ordeal. It's, it's a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of effort, but in the end, you're gonna receive something that's uh, incredible and, and, and looks one of a kind. So I'm real interested in making a plaque for the back of it. And hopefully with this chainsaw here, this Echo 18, 18 inch bar, I can, I can cut myself a nice little platform to post on the wall and then have those antlers rest nicely on there find some studs and get to it but I'm gonna cut some a little stump with a bunch of knots in it and hopefully that can work out if it doesn't it doesn't but I'm just willing to try something different so hopefully I can get some good results and and make it really look one of a kind so I'm gonna run this chainsaw and take you guys with me all right this is the echo chainsaw I just purchased not too long ago from my local echo dealer fantastic guy anyway this saw has been left overnight i milled up a couple of trees yesterday with it and we'll just see if it uh, fires right up let's turn it on pull the choke prime it a couple times let's just see if that's enough So that went well. Definitely keep in mind to be afraid of your chainsaw. You know, you just never know what could happen in any kind of scenario. So always be safe where your protective equipment and whatnot and keep your feet away and, and all those things. Just respect your machine because it can hurt you pretty good. But this little unit here did the job. <clears throat> I'm not sponsored by Echo, but just simply bought a chainsaw through a friend of mine and I couldn't be more impressed with that. That was a cold start, fired up. It, it had its trouble at the very beginning, but uh, I just need a little bit more bar oil and a new tank of fuel and got her running pretty good. Anyway, I got myself a bunch of cuts. I got different sizes. I got a thicker one here and a thinner one here, just to kind of play around, see what, what works, what sizes of screws. I got another one here, here, pick and bark off as I go but something just like that would be really nice and just have that that your own skull right on top of there and that planted right up against the wall look pretty nice anyway got another piece here so I got a lot of uh, trial and error pieces and then you just never know which one you're gonna use in the end because you're gonna see a, bo a bunch of wormholes once that's all cleaned up and blown out each one's going to be unique and we're definitely wanting to bring that live edge kind of trifecta to the to the indoors in our home so hopefully this turns out to look really nice and next step will probably be into the shed you do everything right to, to you know give the animal the respect it deserves whether you're hanging it on your on your woodshed or your house or your cabin or Anywhere you're putting it, you know, give that animal enough respect that, you know, you're showcasing something and, and you're definitely going to be talking about that hunt and what brought you guys together and all that. This is especially good for me. It's my brother's first, uh, first bull moose that I got to do, you know, take part in and, and really show him something, what I'm capable of doing. So now we got all those holes blown out and I really like that that look it's just incredible to me I love that that old rustic look I was gonna take a you know a belt sander to it but I just like the raw 
I like the chainsaw marks. I put the chainsaw marks in it. I want to keep it. And I'm definitely going to do something along the lines of this. Hard to do. Hard to do in three pieces. Let's get these married together. And I'm getting pretty excited for the end result here. That's for sure. Okay. So I mounted that on. I got my wormhole showing in the right spot. And now for the fun part, to marry the two together. So once that's on the wall, I know it looks a little bit crooked in video, but it looks pretty straight to me. Either way, I want that wow factor. You know what, let's just go straight because gravity's gonna do the work to hang me. Oh, that's gonna look fantastic. I'm getting super excited. I absolutely love working with wood. And I love working with antlers and just having it all come together. The outcome's just unique in itself. So I just love playing around with this kind of stuff. So basically right now I have a cavity for the brain. All I need to do is add a screw that goes straight out. Something for that brain cavity to click onto and stay and let gravity do the rest. So we're letting gravity do its thing. Our next step, screw it into the wall and we got our mount completely finished. Hi folks, welcome to the indoors of our home. As you can see, we do have some pretty high ceilings up there and the European skull mount is gonna be mounted somewhere along the middle of those. We're gonna be taking those snowshoes down, repositioning them and the bull moose antlers are gonna be right above there and we're gonna go from there. And we should have that up pretty quickly. Just gotta find some studs and see where I'm gonna position it and we'll go through that together. Well, it really accents the custom handrails. There's a huge smile on my face. This thing looks absolutely incredible. The smell of it's awesome. You just smell the tree. So we're moving on to the, to the moose. Moose rack. So with those pieces that I cut out with the chainsaw, I kind of just put them together on the table like, like so. I might just add a third piece to give it that whole live edge look all the way around. So now with those pieces that I cut with the chainsaw, I'm trying to give it that 360 degrees live edge look and also a 3D look. Moose antlers will be posted right in the middle. So I'm just going to bite the bullet and cut this skull plate down just a little bit further so I can so I can be just a little bit closer to the wood with the bone and then just run screws in nice and flat and have it look a little bit better than it would be without trimming that skull plate down. Simple sawzall blade, demolition blade on it. I was easily able to hack through that, no problem. Just to get your, your final placement. It, better off to take the time to do it now and, and not have that wobbly look or looks like you don't know what you're doing, as opposed to something that looks professionally done. And I definitely want to make this look as professional as possible, out of respect for the moose for our wildlife passed away and living. So it's my due diligence to do that because this animal died for a family member of mine to feed his family. The least I could do is just put that together nicely for him and melt that up on our wall. Okay, so I got a flat surface. Now with that uh, skull plate removed, give me that flat look. Now it's just a matter of looking at everything, making sure everything kind of lines up. 
in placing and hole placement. So I think I'm gonna do one here and one there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drill those out. So now that I got my holes drilled out, I don't wanna put some screws in because this would be a nightmare to hang up by yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and just hang this on the wall, find the stud, secure it to it, and then take these antlers up and just drill away. And that should be mount, final mount. So let's take you into the house. So one thing we didn't talk about within our build was what kind of wood we used. What kind of wood did we use, Liam? Aspen poplar. Aspen poplar. Definitely consider the smell of that wood when it's entering your home. You might want to virethane it up. So if you want to modge podge it or, or virethane it, you know, keep those smells locked in. That's probably a good idea because sometimes they could smell up your home, hey? And another thing we didn't talk about was what kind of stain we used. We used a virethane espresso wood stain for the moose antlers which was just applied with a simple foam brush and that went on nice and easy i got a few touch-ups to do in the end we ended up using nails instead of screws to go into our studs and we also used nails for the moose antlers well folks that about wraps it up for us we had an awesome time building liam's got something to say thanks for watching like and subscribe Definitely hit that like button, it helps our channel. If you like what you see here, there's plenty more to come. There's plenty more behind us. And we look forward to making awesome footage for you guys with some builds, some fish, and some hunting, and all the outdoors above. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the lake. Bye. Bye.